The Russian invasion of Ukraine has led to one of Europe's biggest crises. In the process, thousands of people lost their lives and millions were forced to flee their homes. While the effects of the war were felt both regionally and globally, Ukraine received support from Western countries. Thanks to this support, the Ukrainian army has increased its strength with the weapons and ammunition it has received and is showing a strong resistance against the Russian army. The Ukrainian army is about to receive F-16 fighter jets in the near future. Today, Norway decided to send F-16s to Ukraine. On the Russian front, the situation is difficult. The Russian army has suffered heavy losses on Ukrainian territory since the beginning of the war. It has suffered huge losses against the Ukrainian army. In the last 24 hours, the Ukrainian army carried out offensive operations against the weakened Russian army. The General Staff of the Armed Forces of Ukraine provided information on the latest offensive operations of the Ukrainian army. Accordingly, in the last 24 hours, the Ukrainian Air Force carried out two strikes on common posts, nine strikes on areas of concentration of Russian troops and four strikes on anti-aircraft systems. Ukrainian rocket forces and artillery struck two common posts, a group of Russian military personnel, their weapons and equipment, and two artillery pieces in firing positions. How has Ukraine's Western support had an impact on Russia's invasion of Ukraine? How might the Ukrainian army's possession of F-16 fighter jets change the dynamics of the war? What do you think about the Ukrainian army's offensive in the last 24 hours? We look forward to your comments.